Hey, Greg is here. In this tutorial, we will implement a setup for slot-based inventory system in Godo. If you are a gamer, you most likely know what is slot-based inventory. Stardew Valley, Minecraft, you played them, you seen them, you use them. And most likely, you want to add the same type of inventory into your game using Godo and C-Sharp. I assume you know how to download and install the Godo C Sharp with Visual Studio support. If not, I will post the link to the process somewhere in the description. So the main functional part of the inventory system is separated into two main components, an inventory manager and inventory. Inventory is a simple class containing data of all stored items. Meanwhile, inventory manager will maintain a communication between a game and the inventory. This means that inventory will be detached from the context of the storage, allowing it to express multiple kinds of purposes. While well, inventory manager will be maintaining this communication, allowing to use same inventory in wide spectrum of circumstances by modifying the manager and changing the manager to suit your needs. Good. Let's begin. Create a node for player inventory. Then create a node for inventory. Let's save this. Select the inventory and create and add new script called inventory. Make sure you choose the C sharp template. and create player inventory script on the player inventory node. As you noticed, I used Visual Studio Code. In the beginning, I posted the video on how to set up your Godo to work with C Sharp and Visual Studio Code. So if you need help, follow that video. Open inventory, and we will use generic list to store data about our inventory with just integers for now. To use generic list, you need to import system collection generic. So at the beginning of the game, we need a way to create a new inventory. Inside the init method, we will pass the size of the inventory as a parameter. Before using any lists, we need to initialize them. And let's add debug message to the init to see the message in our console when our list is initialized. Then inside player inventory, when we start the game, we want to initiate our inventory. To do this, we need to have a reference to the target inventory. So the manager will know with exactly what inventory he is working with. And let's create a size of the inventory variable. So we will be able to set up the size of our inventory. We will declare them as exported. Now, if I build our project, we should be able to see the fields on the player inventory, allowing us to reference the inventory and its size. If you see this message, just press current. Good. Let's introduce a UI by making a new scene called Inventory UI. On this Inventory UI, let's add a few nodes for buttons, which I will be duplicating to create Open Inventory button, Close Inventory, Add Item, Remove Random Item, and clear button. Add inventory button script to the open inventory button. Inside we will create a new method called onPressed, where we will post a message into the console. To 
To make this method be called when we press the button, we can subscribe it to the signal of the button called pressed. Every method which is subscribed to the signal will be called when you press the button. So let's test this. Add the inventory UI to the player inventory scene and load the game. If we did everything correctly when I press open inventory, it will show the debug message in the console. Good. Let's rename it from control to proper name and re-add the inventory UI here so it will update itself. Good. Our player inventory exists in a different scene to inventory UI. To communicate the commands from UI to the player inventory, we will use signals. So inside player inventory, let's introduce five new public methods. Open inventory. Close inventory. Do you remember the press button signal from a short while ago? We connected it to the method through the code, but it is a laborious process. Instead, we can connect nodes through the editor directly. Remove random item and clear. So open player inventory scene. And to edit the inventory UI scene, we need to mark editable children. This will allow us to edit the members of inventory UI scene and connect them to the player inventory. Select open inventory button and in signals you will see pressed signal. So double click it. We want to connect it to the player inventory to the open inventory method. But when I press pick, to pick a method to associate with the signal, I will not see an open inventory method. The reason is because we have done changes to our code, but we haven't compiled the code yet. Make sure you always build your game between changes, especially with code. And now we are free to connect our button presses directly to the method on the player inventory. So connect correlating buttons to the methods in the player inventory. Let's test this. Good. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all the Patreon supporters. Your support helped me to make those videos coming. Like, comment, subscribe. And see you later.